Oh, that makes me she gave me here. And thank you for checking into this next episode of Kindergarten 2. So let's jump right into it, shall we? So I found this interesting little thing over here and I gotta press it. Oh, nothing happened. Bummer, man. I guess that's, I have to collect all of the Moss awesome cards to get to press that button. I'm pretty sure is what I need to do. Okay, so I did not look at what I needed to do here, but here we go. We need to do this one, which we start by talking to Felix and then Ted. And so I'm guessing that this kid over here is named Felix. I can't believe it. It's not fair. What's your name? I'm Ozzy and you're one of those awful new kids. I can't believe my friends got moved to new schools for this. Three, we got a bad deal if you ask me. Well, it's been nice talking to you. Okay, not Felix. Um, I guess Felix must be the brother. But I don't really know the difference between which and which, so I hope, uh, I hope this isn't the wrong order. Uh, are you Felix? Oh, hey, I'm Ted. That's nice, Ted. All right, you're Felix. I told you already, Teddy. The plan is foolproof. Just do exactly what I told you, and I know it's just, I don't know, Felix. This whole thing seems so wrong. Ozzy hasn't done anything to us. It'll be fine. Quit being such a... Hmm. How long have you been listening to our little chat? Not long. Good. I wouldn't want Ted here to get in trouble. Hey, why would I get in trouble? I didn't do anything. Which is just so typical for you, Teddy. I'll just have save our family's company myself. Good luck with that. Oh, hey, I'm Ted. Why aren't you in on Felix's plan? Because he's a good for nothing disgrace to my family's name. I'm sorry, Felix. I just want to help. I can do this. Maybe I can explain better during morning time. I'll be in the regular class. The stupid class. <sighs> the stupid class. If you want to talk then. Okay, see you then. Okay, cool. I can't wait to get started. Now that I think about it, we can start now. What are you trying to accomplish? Just help me with this one part and I'll tell you to rest during morning time, okay? Okay, what do we need to do? Well, we're gonna need to distract Ozzy during morning time. Talk to him and see if you can figure out what'll draw his attention, okay? And I'm gonna need someone who I can stage a fight with. Probably a girl. Although with the reasoning, I'm not sure if there are any in the uh, dumb class. I know a dumb girl. Teddy, you can't pull this off. I'll handle it. Let it go. I'm gonna try. You'll see. All right, so let's talk to Ozzy first. Uh, I can't believe it. It's not fair. Uh, what do you like to do? I like to play with my favorite toy, Destructotron. He's so cool. Or he used to be. His battery ran out. Not that the new kid like you cares. There aren't any other batteries. Not unless one of you new kids is selling them. Until then, my favorite toy is just a dumb paperweight. Alright, cool. So let's just go ahead and talk to Monty before he gets ready to leave. Uh, what, 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 you're still selling stuff? Yep, it's gonna be a struggle, but I fully intend to keep my business running. I'll buy something. I'll buy a battery. This is a battery. It can power small electronics and toys. It'll run you two dollars, deal? But you're doing business with you. It always is. Okay, so we got that, and I think the dumb girl is Cindy. This new school is so much more my style, especially the new selection of boys. What do you think? Hey, I want your help with something. Ooh, how forward. I've only been here for like five seconds and I'm already being propositioned. Yeah. Wow. Amazing. Well then, he'll just have to go through a little test. Here's some gum. If he makes it find its way into another girl's hair, then it's a date. I'll let him know. I don't like it when a man keeps me waiting. I want it done before the bell rings. Chop, chop. He'll get right on it. Hello, Ted. So is there a girl you can set me up with? Yep. Ew, why did you give me some chewed up gum? Stick it in a girl's hair. What? That's so mean. But my plan... Would this girl go along with my plan if I do this? I think so. Okay, I guess I'll just stick this in Carla's hair. Why not Penny? No! Uh, I mean, Carla is mean sometimes. She deserves gum in her hair more than Penny. Okay, go do it. <sighs> I'm really sorry about this, Carla. Sorry about what? You haven't done any... Oh? So that's how it's gonna be. Well, you just made yourself an enemy, Ted. I'd watch your back if I was you. I'm really sorry, but I have this really elaborate plan to get away from me! <laughs> oh man, you seem really mad. I feel terrible. This is your plan. I know, but can you just go over there and see if she's okay? Maybe we can make it up to her later. 
I'll see what I can do. Oh, that was wonderful. You're gonna be an excellent boyfriend. Yeah, okay, it's all coming together. I'll see you in morning time. Good grief, Teddy. It's fine, Felix. My plan will work. You'll see. Walk away from Ted, and there goes Monty off by himself. Hi, Carla. Ugh, what the heck is wrong with Ted? He just came up and stuck gum in my hair. Anything I can do to help? That's nice, kid. I appreciate it. I could use some scissors to cut this crud out of my hair. Where can I get those? Upstairs, but since you're in the... Let's gift it, class. It will probably be easier for you to get them at lunch. Okay. Thanks, kid. Here's a vending machine coupon. I would do it myself, but I'm not allowed to use the machine anymore after I started counterfeiting these. Cool. That's the bell. Everyone head inside to your assigned classrooms. Okay, so should we talk to Ted in here? Uh-huh, the teacher has a headache. We know teachy, teachy, teach. Uh, he's not running off this time, so let me go talk to him. Oh good, you're here. Felix has this scheme that's gonna help our family's company, but I have a better one and no one wants to listen to it. What is it? I'll tell you, but you gotta promise not to tell anyone though. Felix will be so mad if his plan gets ruined and it's my fault. I won't tell anyone. I want to use you to kill Ozzy. Why Ozzy? Well you see, um, Felix said it's because... I actually don't know, but I think it has something to do with our inheritance. Ah, uh, your inheritance. Yeah, Felix and I are going to be getting a large sum of money when we turn 18. Felix says a dumb kid like me won't know what to do with it. Maybe he's right. Don't say that. Thanks. I appreciate that. So how do we kill him? Well, I want to give him an asthma attack. He uses his inhaler a lot. He keeps it in his cubby. Why do we need Cindy? We're gonna need a long distraction. I figured we could pretend to fight or something to draw the teacher's attention and you could grab it. Let's get that inhaler. Right, but first we should handle Ozzy. You got something to distract him with? Yep. Good thinking. He'll move to the other side of the class to play with Destructotron. Go give him that battery and then we can talk to Cindy. Right. Oh, forgot I always forget about Nugget. <laughs> Nugget is present. No, Nugget is late. So you're good getting study. Oh dear God, what happened to your arm? Nugget had to chew it off in order to escape from the failed Nugget cave. Why did you? Uh, never mind. Do you want to go to the nurse? You're bleeding all over my new classroom. Nugget is quite durable. Nugget will survive. If you insist, go ahead and play or do whatever it is that you do. Nugget got some fidget spinner. Cool, okay. Hi, Ozzy. Destructotron was the best toy in a toy box. My friends and I used to play with him all the time before you new kids came in. Was the best toy? Yeah, but now he's out of battery. No friends, no toys. You new kids are the worst. You can have this battery. Whoa, really? Thanks. Maybe you aren't so bad. Yeah, maybe. I'm gonna go play over by the toy box. I'll see you around, kid. See ya. Okay, cool. I did it. With Ozzy out of the way, we're ready to make our move. When we start the distraction, be ready to grab that inhaler. Let's do this. Also, Felix didn't get a chance to empty his cubby before going to the smart class. There's some stuff there that might be worth grabbing. Like money? No, 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 no. The money is in my cubby. Felix is to the right of Ozzy's. Got it. Anyway, let's go start a distraction. Lead the way. Lead the way. Uh, Cindy? I just love this doll. She's so pretty, just like me. We need you to cause a distraction. Oh, really? Sorry, sweetie, but I only do that for, I only do something like that for my boyfriend. Ted would be your boyfriend. Yeah, remember? We need to put on a show to distract the teacher. <laughs> oh yeah, that's my kind of date. Are you ready to go then? He is. Yeah, let's go. Be ready to grab that inhaler, kid. Follow me, boyfriend. We're about to have our first spat. Are you ready, sweetie? Ready for what? You haven't told me anything. Just play along. I've done this a million times. Play along with what? This doesn't... How dare you? Ow! Hey, that hurt! You're a jerk! Well, there's more where that came from. Hey, Cindy, stop! Knock it off right now! Oh my god. They're just hitting each other! <laughs> Oh my god, this is Ozzy's cubby. It has this inhaler to take the inhaler. This is Felix's cubby. I don't actually know what's in it. Whatever it is, it's green. Screen and in the bag. Take the stuff. Okay, okay, I'll stop. But I'll kill him if he ever does that again. Not good enough, you little brat. You're getting study hard for this little incident. 
It was worth it! <laughs> oh my god, this is so great. Did you get it? Please tell me you got it. I got it. Awesome! You're really good at this. Thanks. Now what? Now that we took away his lifeline, we just need to stress him out enough to trigger an asthma attack. What stresses him out? Ozzy's a bit particular. He likes to do things a certain way. If we can break his routines, he should start freaking out. Where do we start? Lunch. He does a lot of really specific things there. It shouldn't be hard to throw him off his game. Okay then. Attention new kids. Hi! Here's your passbook. If you get an adult to sign it, you're allowed to out in the halls. Don't get any crazy ideas though. You're only allowed to use it once per day. Got it. Oh, thank God. That's the bill. Get out of my classroom and go to lunch. All right. Oh, there you are. It's time to move forward with the next stage of the plan. What is it? Oh, hello, Felix. What the devil are you talking to him for? What are you two doing? Oh. Uh, nothing, Felix. I'm just gonna show the new kid where the forks are. Follow me, new kid. Okay, Felix can't know that we're doing this. I want to do it just the two of us so he knows that I can take charge of stuff. Okay. In a few minutes, Ozzy is going to leave and use the bathroom. You need to take the stall on the left. That's the stall he likes. So what? It'll stress him out. That's the name of the game here. We just have to keep putting pressure on him until he cracks. Now go to that stall and wait for him. Okay, gee. Oh, Felix is watching. Here's the fork so we don't look suspicious. Uh, thanks. Also, did she talk to Carla? Will she forgive me? She wants scissors. Of course. Well, you should probably do that while you're out as well. Good idea. Uh, what are you doing? You cannot leave. You have not eaten yet. Ah, oh, frick, I have to eat? I have to eat, you say? Fine, how much is eating gonna cost? Hello, child, what would you- A hamburger? Yes, please, I could go for a hamburger myself. Ha ha! Okay, what are you doing? Uh, I bought a burger. Oh, my mistake. Please, allow me to mark your passbook. Here you go. There you are. Thank you for buying lunch today. You're welcome. So we need... Hey man, you need a pass to be out here. Go back to lunch or I'm giving you study hall. I have one. Oh, a bathroom pass. Okay, go ahead. Thanks. Back it up, kid. Your pass is for the bathroom, not upstairs. I can't let you up there. What can I do so you let me up? Hmm, well that little narc took my cigarettes this morning. You wouldn't happen to have something to smoke, would you? I do. Whoa, this is even better than cigarettes. Thanks, man. You're welcome. I hope that I didn't need that for later because, uh... If I did, I don't have it now. Ah, oh, frick. How was I supposed to get the science stuff? Oh, wait, here's the scissors. Uh, use coupon on scissors. Yes. Okay. Now we just need to go downstairs, go to the bathroom, and use the stall on the left. Hopefully he's not there yet. Ah, oh, frick. Ah, frick. Okay. Messed that up. Uh, we have to restart. I know what to do. I just, I guess I need to come in here and do this first. Okay, but I'll get to the point where I need to be and then I'll be right back. Okay, so we're here now and all we gotta do is just come here, click this. Should I use the stall? Yes. And he'll come in. What the? Who's in there? This is my stall. I use it every day. Come out right now. I'm not done yet. Unacceptable! Everyone knows this is my stall! Now hurry up and finish! Just use the other one. The other one? I'd rather die than die. Ah, you haven't heard the last of this, kid. Bye, Ozzy. <laughs> ah, the fool. The fool fell right for my plan. Okay, now we have enough time to go upstairs and get those scissors. I don't know if we need the coupon to do this exactly because the scissors are pretty cheap. But if it turns out we do, I can just come back and do this again later. Thanks for the hookup and everything, but you do gotta get going, bro. Get going. Okay. Have you seen my inhaler? I thought I left it in my cubby, but it's not there. Haven't seen it. Darn it. Good thing I keep a backup in my locker upstairs. I'll just use that if anything happens. Oof! Uh, Ted, you have a problem? Did you hear that? He has another inhaler! Darn it! Well, he definitely seems stressed. I take it you made it to his tall on stall on time? Yep. Good. We continue with the plan then. We just need to adapt a little. How so? We've got some things to do. One is to find a green flower. Ozzy is highly allergic. 
The seeing one should be enough to freak him out. Where can I get one? There's a few around the school. I know one grows back by the dumpster. I'll be back with it. Ah, pricky. That's really an action that I have to spend opening the gate. I take the flower. I mean, I guess I have done it before, so I can't complain. But when I don't know how many actions I have to spend, it makes me a little nervous. Did you get that flower? Yep. Wow, you are good. So now we just have to get into that locker and steal the backup inhaler. How do we do that? There's only one person that can get us into that locker. And I put gum in her hair this morning. Oh no. Well, let's see if we can smooth things over with her. Maybe she'll forgive me. I hope so. Hey, Carla. Get in line, gringo. It's still my turn to jump on the trampoline. We have a job for you. Is that so? Oh boy, that is an angry face. And why would I be so inclined to help the kid who put gum in my hair this morning? I'm really sorry about that, but if it helps, my plan has been pretty success- Shut it, snob. Did you get those scissors I asked for? Yep, good. At least I got that going for me. So will you help us? Ugh, I guess. If you do one more favor for me, which is... You see that kid in the wheelchair over there? He's been making some moves on my turf today. I gotta show him not to do that. How? Here's a screwdriver. See to it that his wheels are less than operable. He can do that. No way! He'll see us! There's two of you. One of you pretend to buy something from the little fence while the other sneaks behind him and pops out a screw. It's not that complicated. We got this. Good. Come see me when it's done. Will do. Uh, I guess we have to do this. We have to further disable a cripple. I feel sick. You're trying to kill another kid. That's different. I know Felix has a good reason for- Never mind. Let's just get it over with. Right. Before we do, if you want to buy or sell stuff, you should probably do it now. I doubt he'll be in a mood after we ruin his day. What do you mean? For the last part of my plan, you have to go to science instead of gym. Oh, I'll be right back. Uh-oh. Okay, so I need to sell some stuff. I uh, just want to sell something. Um, This inhaler. Yeah, I can take that. I'll give you $2 for it. Deal? Deal. Thought you're doing business with you. Okay. And now we're good to go. Can I do it? Do I do it from behind? Okay. All right. Uh, okay. I guess I just go talk to Ted. All right, Ted. I got it. Are you ready to unscrew this chair? I'm ready now. Okay. I'll go pretend to buy or sell something. Just try to make sure he doesn't get hurt too bad, okay? I'll do my best. <laughs> the fool doesn't know what he's in for. Should I remove a screw from Monty's wheelchair? Yes. <gasps> oh, oof. Ah, no, 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 no! What happened to my chair? This sucks. Why is this happening to me? Oh my, I, uh, I'll let you get yourself together. We'll talk later when you're, um, not on the floor. Just get out of here. Well done. Okay, a deal's a deal. I'll see to it that Ozzy's locker is open by the time you get to it. Can you grab the inhaler for us? That's not part of our deal. You only said the locker. You're gonna have to grab whatever you want out of it by yourself. Okay. I felt pretty bad about that, but it was necessary. Sure it was. It's almost time to do the actual job now. Are you ready for your big moment? What do I have to do? When the bell rings, pay the lap fee and go to science. That's where Ozzy goes after recess. Then what? Once you're there, cause the distraction and sneak out. Grab the inhaler out of his locker. Once you have it, show Ozzy the flower. He should fall apart and die. Sounds like a plan. Felix and I will meet you after school. If all goes well, you'll be handsomely rewarded. See you then. Finally, just one more class and then I get to go home. Anyone who wants to pay the laffy can go to the science classroom. Everyone else, meet in the gym. Go to science, okay. What do I have to do here exactly? Welcome to science class. Today's lesson will be about plants. Please observe the common plant in front of you. Observe the plant. Notice how it is neither carnivorous or poisonous because the PTA is a bunch of cowards. Feel free to take a sample and look at it under one of the microscopes. This one won't do much, but it could if Ozzy's mom wasn't such a wimp. Uh, so now how would I cause a distraction in here exactly? Let's just try clicking the things that we know we can click. This plant isn't poisonous or carnivorous. Uh-huh. I can't believe we don't get to go do show and tell. Hey, what's that? That pretty flower. Can I have it? Only if you help me. Help you? I guess I could. What do you need? I need a distraction. I don't know. Dr. Danner seems smarter than Miss Applegate. He probably won't fall for any old distraction. You're gonna need something big. Like what? 
Gosh, the boys are stupid. Let's look at this place. I'm sure there is something you can use. Maybe buy the computers or something. I'll see what I can do. Something by the computers. Unplug. This is an electrical outlet. It can probably be used to create a distraction under the right circumstances. Stick the port in the outlet. Ooh. Don't stick forts in the electrical outlet. This applies to real life too. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. I can see in hindsight that that was a pretty dumb thing to do. Let's just do uh, not that and hopefully cause a distraction. Uh, what else can I do? I could have changed the lesson plan if I got in this book sooner. Ah. Oh. Okay. But what? Do, do I get the magnet? What do I do here? The, the this? The what? What am I missing? Oh, I see you like the leg. I used to have two, but the other went missing. If you find it, please bring it to me. There are some fish in this tank. There's also some small yellow particles in here. I wonder what they would like magnified. Ah. Oh. All right, so uh, outside of the outlet, I'm really not seeing what one should do here. Frickity frick frick frick. Maybe we need to talk to Cindy to trigger it. I don't know, let me try. Hey, right, maybe let's talk to Penny, dude. Plants are so cool. Dr. Danner is the smartest teacher ever. Nothing. Go away, kid. I'm trying to learn about plants. Uh, okay, let's just try talking to Cindy again. Oh, okay. I needed to go over and investigate the outlet first and then come back. I see. Like the electrical outlet. The electrical outlet? How's that going to create a distraction? Stick this in it. What's that going to do? Make a distraction. If you insist, but I want that fly before I do anything. I could get in trouble, but it'll be worth it for something so pretty. Okay, here. Oh, goody. Get ready to run. Here comes a distraction. I'm ready. <laughs> Oh boy. Hey, Dr. Danner, look what I'm doing. What? Wait, what are you doing? That's not a good idea. Ooh. You new children are dumber than the monkeys whose brains I removed. Okay, nobody move. I'm sure the power will be back on soon. I'm moving. <laughs> oh, Cindy. This is the fried corpse of Cindy. She still has the fork and the flower. Take the flower. Oh, poor Cindy. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I had to do it to you, buddy. Okay, so we need the locker. This locker is locked, okay. This orange locker is unlocked. There's an hill inside, it must be, uh-oh. Uh uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, look who's back. I'm terribly sorry that Plants in the Dark wasn't interesting enough for you. I forgive you. Please, take this laser blast to the face as a token of my regret. So oh, thank you. Swap. Okay. All right. So now we know that we need to get the plant, the plant from Cin Cindy, after we come back, and not before. Uh, noted. Okay. So now we just come over here. Blah 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 blah. Hey, Cindy, can you go stick this fork in this outlet over there? It'll make a big distraction. Here's that flower. Oh, this is a great idea, Cindy. Very good. Oh, beautiful. So good, yes. Nobody move. Cool. Now I can come out here. No, no, no. This is what I want, yes. Come back into the room. Okay. And now, wait, I guess I can't move, right? So maybe I should just do this. Ah, there we go. Everyone get back to doing science. I don't know if that was a good idea or a bad idea. We'll see. Uh, take the flower. Um, Go away, kid. I'm trying to learn about plants. Check out this plant. Ah, no, get that away from me. I think I'm having an asthma. Give him some room. Damn it, Ozzy. We've been over this. Where's your inhaler? In my locker. Please hurry. Uh, well, Ozzy, I have some bad news. It's not there. So it looks like you're going to die here, but don't worry, it won't be in vain. If you sign on the dotted line here, I'm semi-legally allowed to use your body for science. <laughs> I'll just forge it for him. It's what he would have wanted. Good news, everyone. 
I've suddenly come into possession of a cadaver. Tomorrow's lesson will be on anatomy. I just noticed the body count on today's class has been slightly higher than average. Perhaps we could end the day a little early. Everyone go home. Go home. Okay, I don't know if you need it to be in the same spot, but he seems like a very technical person, so that's why I just wanted to make sure, just in case. Okay. There he is, Felix. I told you he would do it. I... I didn't see Ozzy come out of the school. Did Julie really do what my brother is suggesting? Yep. Fascinating. Um, well done then. This is exactly what I wanted. Yes, exactly. I knew we could do it, and we did it all without your help. Yes, I'm sure Father would be quite proud. Give him his reward. Give him the thing. Oh, yes, um, here you are. What is it? It's a pen from our company. It represents that you are a trustworthy ally to our family. Cool. Say, Teddy, would you mind telling the driver I'll be a minute? I just need a moment to talk to our new friend here. Sure thing, Felix. Before I go, take this Monster Mon card. It looks kind of like Ozzy did before he, um, bye. <laughs> Stress Llama. Oh dear, what a mess. A mess? This wasn't supposed to happen. Ozzy wasn't supposed to die. You didn't want Ozzy dead? Goodness, no! I wanted Ted dead. Why? Perhaps we could discuss the matter tomorrow? Perhaps. Excellent. Good day to you, Hitman. Good day. Oh, he's trying to kill his brother so he can get the inheritance money. Gosh darn. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> but, I mean... Granted, that's not very surprising given the type of personality that Felix has. That's his name, right? Felix? Yeah. Felix. Right? Yeah. Right, right, right. I know the names. I know the names. But I'm going to go ahead and end the video here because we have finished one and doing another. It would put us way over time. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, come subscribe, like, and share this video if you did. And Mishi Gamer is signing out.